What's up, tubers? Hey, man, I wanted to do a dope intro video for y'all, but for some reason, my microphones aren't working. So I'm coming to y'all straight up real close under my ring light, and I'm doing the Afro taper. Follow my steps, and you will be a master in no time. And if you're an older barber, you might need some new tricks. I got them for you. But we gonna watch this together and we gonna learn. Y'all know what I like to do. Say it with me if you can. Hit it! Welcome to another episode of Kitchen Cuts. We're gonna do an Afro taper today. Watch it, and I promise if you follow my steps, you will be a fade god. But before we cut our client's hair, we have to comb it to get it ready for the freshest haircut in the world, dog. Let's get started. The first thing I'm doing is grabbing my Andy's T outliners, and I'm creating my bald line. Okay, now that we finish our first line, because that was easy, it was kind of like filling up a Slurpee at 7-Eleven. <laughs> easy. Now let's do our second line. I'm using my Babyliss Pros lever all the way down, and I want to create the next line. Okay, I switched over to my Wall 1919 Clippers with my Andy's number one guard, and I'm going to flick up and create my next line. Some of y'all, this might look like a good enough fade for you if you're a new barber, but no, you're going to be a pro. We ain't stopping here. We got more steps to go. I almost forgot my lever is all the way upper. Okay, so now I'm using my OA guard and I'm gonna flick up and I wanna get the top part of that bulky, 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 bulky area. Okay, I took away the top part of the bulk with the O8 Speedo Guide. So now I have the O Speedo Guide and I'm concentrating more so on the mid area. I'm blending that in a little bit more. As a new bar, re remember this, bulk is never your friend. You don't wanna be count bulkula with all your clients here. You can see this dark bulky spot where the fade doesn't look good. The transition doesn't look good. We don't want that. Ain't no count bulkulas listening to me. Number one guard, I just want to clean the bottom part of the fade, lever all the way up. Open blade, once again, I'm cleaning the bottom part of the fade. Any lines that I see or something that doesn't look natural, I want to blend it out. Okay, I put my number two guard on and I want to get that bulk behind this ear. Cause to me that bulk looked as thick as Steve Harvey's mustache. So I got to flick up, my lever is all the way up and I just want to eliminate that bulk. Now I'm just finishing the touches and cleaning up the bottom before I move to the next. Now we get to the lineup. Remember the lineup is the most important part of a haircut. It can make or break the haircut. If you move the lineup back, not good, my friend. But if you keep it natural, tight, looking crisp, that client will love you forever. And I'm using my Andy's T outliners. One thing that I like to do before I, um, do the taper in the back. I like to line up the side so I can get a better look at it. So for now on this one, I'm just gonna line up the right side. I'll get to the, the left side later. But um, one thing, if you do line it up first, it kind of gives you a better look to see what you're working with with the fade. Yeah, I don't know, it just works for me. Hopefully it might work for you too.
Just like we did on the side after preparation, we're gonna create our bald line first. Got my lever all the way down and I'm creating my second line. And most important thing, if you're a new barber, always be confident in what you're doing. If you act like you don't know what you're doing, your client can feel it. But if you, even if you don't know what you're doing and you act confident and you just keep on going, they won't know. Just be prepared to put your guards up when you hand them the mirror. Okay, I went to my one and a half guard and my lever is in the middle. I'm doing this because I want to uh, knock down some of that bulk. I don't want to go too high because I, I don't want his neck taper to be that high. Clients tend to not like the real high neck taper. Okay, I got my number two guard on lever all the way up. And this is the highest that I'm going to go. And I'm using this because I want to um, kind of smooth it out more so what I did with the one and a half just to smooth it out more so it can just make the transition of the fade look better. But I don't want to go any higher than this. Okay, I went back down to my number one guard lever all the way up and I'm pretty much just fading the bottom part. Okay, let's go with an open and closed blade on this part and any line that I see at the very bottom of the fade, I'm going to flick up and get it out. I still see some improvements that I can make on a fade. So I'm opening and closing my blade and I'm doing the same thing, just working the, the middle part until I get it to, to my liking pretty much. I switched over to my Andy's Magnetic Guard number one because it leaves the hair a little bit higher than some of the other number one guards. And I'm just flicking out. And to, to me, this is the most important part because I want to get it to where this transition from a lot of hair to no hair looks real smooth. Now I'm going to line up the back. And the thing is, when you're lining up the back, you want to follow the natural line as possible, but make it look good at the same time. Because I hate when barbers, some barbers take it in way too much. And when it grows back, it looks like garbage. So you, you want to stay with that natural line, but just making it look as clean as possible. Okay, right here, I'm doing the same steps that I did to the other side in the back. So right now I'm gonna shut up and let y'all vibe out to some music, but don't worry, I'll be back because we're gonna get into the part when I start cutting his Afro. Okay, now let's get to the Afro part. <laughs> look at my boy, my client Brandon, trying to look sexy for y'all. <laughs> so with the Afro part, I already picked it out. So I'm basically just following what he has. I'm going to keep it an Afro. I'm not going in too much, but I'm just right here. I'm freehanding it, and I'm just going to make it look nice and neat. I'm confident. I know my ability, and we're going to make it do what it do, baby.
notice that I'm maintaining, I'm staying up top because I'm doing the afro taper, so he doesn't want it down a lot. So I'm just pretty much getting off the loose ends, but making sure that it's nice and neat. Look at him, I got him looking like that cushion on the microphone. Almost makes me wanna sing. You gotta be careful in this part because some clients have those hooks on the back of their head. So if they got a hook head and you go in too deep, you might zzz, 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 cut a, a bald spot. So you gotta be aware of your client if they have a hook head or not. Okay, we're gonna go to the front part of his lineup. I wanted to give you guys a close up so you can see that I'm clearly not going back on his line. I'm just maintaining where it is and making it look nice and neat. Anytime you're lining someone's beard, you always want to prep it before you line it up. My bad, y'all. This view sucks. Ha, ah, there we go. There's a better view. Don't worry. I got y'all. I got y'all, man. I love y'all, man. Right here, I'm gonna do the same thing I did with his afro because he wants to keep his beard nice and full. I'm pretty much just hitting the loose ends, just getting those off. Now here's some OG barber advice. This is kind of like the cheat code in the video game. Now, when you scissor the top, you want to get the pieces off, but honestly, 
even if you don't cut anything, the clients like that, it makes them feel good. So you can just scissor away, not cutting much off, and they're gonna love you for it. That's the cheat code. I got that boy looking good with a fresh Afro taper. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe. And as always, have a good day. Be good to each other. Ciao!